What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. And today we're working on the 10th gen Civic SI. We are going to do something else to the rear to finally complete the look that I was envisioning. I'm going to show you guys what I mean and um, you probably obviously know by the title of the video. We are going to install the 2020 rear bumper garnishes. I'm going to try attempt to do this without removing the bumper. I've seen people do it with the bumper on and off. Supposedly there's a screw that may give us issues. I'm not sure if there's any difference between the Canadian models and the US models in that fact. If you guys haven't watched an install video of the car use Aero Flat V2, go check it out. Hey. recently tension is coming together we have some side skirts and front lift to come on and possibly possibly the budget is right we might get a carbon hood just to complete that front end i don't know i kind of like the hood the way it is also it keeps it super clean uh, but let me show you i'm gonna show you the part numbers and before we get into this i'll say thank you to 2c at unity performance for hooking me up with that all right so this is how the car is sitting right now as you guys can see that is the car use v2 aero flap that i was talking about Go check out that install video if you like. I think it looks really good. It really extends the way it looks on the car and extends the look of the car and makes it a little more aggressive but clean at the same time. So here's a part number for you guys. If you guys do want to grab these, you guys can grab them at Unity Performance also. And here is the other one. They are not the same part number, so double check that as you guys can see. We're going to open these up and we're going to see how they look on the car. I think it's going to complement the rear quite nicely. We're going to get rid of this honeycomb stuff here and uh, we're going to pop this out. I'm going to use some trim tools and we're going to be very careful because we do have the LED lights in there and they are wired up. So we're going to have to remove them, put them in those and see if this all works out. So here is the difference in how they look. As you can see, we're going to be adding this. It has a bit of depth now. You can actually put your finger through here, even though there is nothing behind here. And uh, I think it's gonna look really nice and it's gonna complement the, the rear end. We do have the front done also. This is how the front looks. I think it looks a lot better, a little more aggressive, but clean at the same time. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the install video. So I'm gonna use my Acuity trim tools. If you guys need some of these, I do have a link in the description. Uh, if you use my link, it does help the channel out. Something as small as this can go a long way. Uh, you don't pay any more or any less, but it will help contribute towards the channel. Just saying, thanks. So we're gonna put it in here. And I'm not gonna do it holding the camera and we're gonna put it in and we're gonna pop this out uh, I got to be very careful because this LED light is wired up and then we're gonna unscrew it screw it into the other one and just pop it in It's a pretty easy install. I think all of you guys can do it um, Some people take off the bumper like I mentioned previously. I don't think we're gonna have to but let's see So one thing we're gonna have to do is because this has depth to it here as you can see creating this kind of look uh, we're gonna have to cut an area out over here with a Dremel uh, I suggest you kind of mark it out have an idea where you want to do it and then slowly just cut away at it you can use a Dremel so you can use a very sharp uh, exacto blade that will work also just take your time wear some safety equipment and be careful uh, this is my first time doing it so I'm gonna show you guys where I think we should cut. Uh, just gotta be careful from behind. Uh, there may be the rebar there and you don't wanna hit that. So one thing I'll have to do is I'll have to remove my tail light just because I have to wire in the LED. As you can see over here, I'm gonna have to wire this guy in. So it's gonna take a few extra steps for me. I'm not gonna show you guys how that is done uh, just because it's not something you're gonna have to do. Uh, but I'm going to do that quickly now and uh, I will show you guys where we have to cut here also I'm Not sure if you guys can see it or not on the camera, but I did make a mark with a sharpie uh, I'll show you where I'm cutting. I think this may be enough. I'm not hundred percent sure yet uh, I'm gonna cut this and see how it fits and then after I'm going to worry about the tail light and all that fun stuff uh, But yeah, let's get it how much I cut to make work as you guys can see so that basically will make it work so 
uh, tail lights off, I'm gonna have to basically, where is this? Put the either for you guys if you have the just a reflector, you screw in the reflector and then you can put it back on. But I'm gonna have to fish the wires up and wire them back in. Uh, but I think this is gonna make a good difference in how these look, and we'll do a side by side comparison very shortly. I'm gonna just basically put this in and I'll show you guys. All right, look who showed up, Alex. So it's in, like I said, it takes a little extra longer for me specifically because I have that LED light in there and uh. This is how they look in comparison. I actually like it quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Looks a lot better. You wanna move your uh, kneecap there, sir? That is the difference in how they look. I think it looks a lot better. Add some dimension, some depth, instead of that flat. Nothing right there. All right, I'm gonna do the second one now. It's the same process as the first, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. So check it out, check it out. If you guys are wondering, yes, I side skirts and front lip are coming, but the rear end I think is finally complete. Check that out. Look at it. It looks so much better. These definitely make the difference. What do you guys think down below? Let me know your thoughts. I think it looks fantastic. I ain't gonna lie. With a car, you use aero flap, and you notice the Type R little window visor is gone, and I got rid of it. I took it off and decided to break it in half. So, it looks much cleaner. What do you guys think down below? The car's coming together. V2 is looking fantastic. And yeah, I was gonna say thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you guys like it? Let me know down below. I think it's worth the upgrade. Uh, if you guys are interested in some hats or sweaters, message me on Instagram. They are for sale. Merch is coming. The website eventually will be coming also. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do it once, do it right later. Thank you.